Giant Shark versus Titan. Giant Shark. Who will win these two historical giants? Have you ever thought about what would happen if a giant shark and a giant snake met at different times? Although time separates these two creatures, but think about what would happen if they met in the water. This will be a very interesting thing. As the largest shark species ever, the giant shark ruled the ocean millions of years ago. These huge predators have been exterminated, but they still appear in movies and TV shows. Titan giant shark is a kind of extinct giant snake, which lived in the ancient modern era 60 million years ago. The length of this snake is twice that of the largest modern snake, and the weight is four times that of the giant giant snake. What do they look like? Giant shark is the largest shark in the world. They used to live in the ocean. Like other sharks, they have a streamlined and strong body. Only in the effective cut into the water, their tails move left and right, breathing through the gaps on both sides of their heads, just like other soft-boned animals. The skeleton of the giant shark is mainly made of soft bones. Soft bones are hard but elastic materials found in human noses and ears. Therefore, the shape of the giant shark is based on the structure of the existing shark. According to modern research, the giant shark has the closest relationship with the green shark, not the big white shark. Every giant shark, including the giant shark, has multiple teeth arranged on its chin. Their teeth are particularly large. Some teeth are more than 18 centimeters long. The largest giant shark is about 18.2 meters long. The weight may be up to 50 tons. If you think the 5-meter giant shark is terrible, consider the Titan giant shark. This is a 12.8-meter giant shark. The widest part is 0.9 meters, but their relationship with modern giant shark species is closer than that of giant giant sharks. Like the modern giant shark, the Titan giant shark has a high-muscle, elastic, five-legged body, which is very suitable for wrapping huge prey and eventually compresses the victim to death by shrinking. Although they do not carry venom, their unusually strong jaws and big mouths allow them to escape and swallow the entire prey. Even though the victim's body is bigger than the head of a snake, they still have a separate tongue. Even in the water, it can help them find prey. Where do they live? Giant shark is found all over the world. Africa, North America, South America, India, Australia, Japan, and Europe have found its teeth. Antarctica is the only continent that has not found teeth. Some giant shark fossils have also been found in high altitude areas. This shows that the giant shark was underwater when it was alive. And since the giant shark's death and the formation of fossils, the climate must have changed significantly. Ancient biologists found a lot of fossils in the left floor of the Cerro Joan in Colombia because we can only estimate the distribution according to the fossil specimen. These snakes are completely likely to be in a larger area of swimming than researchers have realized. The skeleton must be able to form fossils under absolutely perfect conditions. Ancient biologists believe that this snake lives in the first species of tropical rainforests in South America. Although they can't be sure because no one has ever seen this kind of snake in the wild. What do they eat? Giant shark teeth are like carnivores. Due to its large size, it needs to eat a lot of food. Its diet is likely to include large marine animals, such as whale, big fish, and other possible sharks. The golden bone fossil of the giant shark scale, which is clearly visible, confirms this. It was even found that the teeth of the giant shark were trapped in the golden fish bone fossil. Small marine animals such as seahorses and large turtles are likely to be on the menu of the giant shark. People would think that the giant shark can definitely eat anything it wants to eat, but scientists believe that this snake mainly eats fish. The quantity of the snake's upper jaw and teeth and the structure of its skin make them conclude that these fish are likely to be waste fish. Bonefish. They are hard-boiled fish. Most of these fish are now extinct. The giant shark is most likely to eat other reptiles and fish and birds when it doesn't eat fish. An adult titan giant horse can easily defeat a 300-pound turtle. How do they perform in the wild? Because they will prey on larger prey. So the hunting behavior of this species is different from that of any other living thing today. 
The giant shark bite marks on the golden fish fossil show that the shark aimed at an important organ. Their strong bite force and teeth are easy to bite through skin and bones. Researchers also suspect that they hit the prey to stun it. Although it is impossible to guess the exact breeding strategy of these sharks, we do know their life cycle. The magnetic giant shark is believed to have been born in Tuor. There, the cub can avoid the damage of titan giant horses and other predators. Most of the time, the titan giant horse is underwater. Because of its large size, the titan giant horse is resting most of the time on land. The size of the titan giant horse will make it difficult to climb trees. Now let's see who will win the biggest shark and the biggest snake battle ever. The giant shark and the titan giant horse have very different bodies. Although their lengths can be compared but due to their size and thickness, the giant shark is a larger creature. It is estimated that the titan giant horse can swim at a speed of about 10 miles per hour. And the giant shark can swim at a speed of 11 miles per hour. Although it is difficult to predict how fast this type of animal can be, these are beneficial to the giant shark. Of course, this also depends on the depth of the water. The giant shark is a predator with extraordinary senses. Their hearing is very sensitive so that they can hear what is flying in the distant water. Their vision is very good in the day and at night. Finally, they have a sixth sense of the Rolensky Lake. This is the electric field where they can detect prey. The Titan giant horse has organs to help them identify the heat from other animals. It also has a keen sense of smell. It can directly detect nearby vibrations. They can stick out their tongues like modern snakes to taste air or water and learn about the surrounding environment and creatures. The Titan giant horse can also rely on its ability to glide on land, avoid some predators and integrate with the surrounding environment. Like modern sharks, the giant shark will follow the prey before it launches a deadly attack from below, then attack its prey from below with a deadly attack. The titan giant horse will follow the prey and then grab the prey with its teeth while wrapping its body around the enemy. The titan giant horse will shrink and squeeze its prey and kill the prey several times, causing fractures in the bones and degenerative organs. The battle will depend on the depth of the water. If the depth of the water is less than 50 inches, the giant shark will be difficult to activate. Large sharks need a lot of space, so being trapped in the shallow water may cause the shark to stop swimming and eventually die terribly due to the lack of water to reach its mouth. But at the same time, the titan giant horse is very flexible in a closed space. Sharks can't be strangled to death in the traditional way, but it will become immobile and drown to death. But if the water is deep enough, the giant shark can move. The titan giant horse can't survive after being bitten by a shark because sharks are usually much faster than snakes. The giant shark's speed attack and the giant shark will destroy the titan giant horse. The giant shark will win this battle, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other comments, please leave them in the comment section.